In the 9th century, the Guadiana River formed an important transportation route in the economy and culture of the Al-Andalus. Departing from vestiges and available documentation from excavations, we have reconstructed and imagined Mertola during those days. We have modeled civil housing and some of the iconic military structures, such as the Tower of the River and the protective walls. Additionally, the virtual city is inhabited by a population of autonomous characters. Individuals roam the space and engage in social interaction with each other. This is a society of trading agents, equipped with personalities and emotions who self-organize, motivated by basic needs of socialization and the exchange of resources. The model of artificial life animating these characters mimics features observed in biological organisms. Individuals have personalities, emotions, and metabolic functions, which motivate and shape their actions and expressions in the world. All the activities performed have an energetic cost for the agent, a metabolic function converts energy from resources and as a consequence, each individual negotiates and trades their own resources with others for what they need. Some individuals are producers of resources, being depicted in professions such as farmer or trader. Additionally, this is a population of gregarious individuals. They need to socialize from time to time. Given the right conditions from these social encounters, new individuals are added to the simulation. They appear outside of the walls, slowly joining and integrating with the crowd. Individual properties are described in a DNA-like code, which individuals pass to their progeny when multiplying. When the energetic values of an individual fall below a threshold, that individual moves to the gate of the city, disappearing beyond the city's walls and being removed from the simulation. A psychological model composed of parameters for personality, mood, and emotions influences actions and determines expressions. The psychology component operates in feedback loops as the consequences of the actions performed by the agent change its emotional state, which then influence its later actions. Taking into consideration the integration of all of the components mentioned, the result is a historical simulation enriched with the animation of a population of autonomous and gregarious historical characters that are self-organizing, and show heterogeneous and spontaneous behaviors with different levels of activities and expressions.